Welcome back to Brooklyn's Library. Welcome if you're new. <laughs> Before we get started, I <laughs> I have um, a little Miss Thing. You might know her called the Coronavirus. <laughs> yeah so day is late day six or day seven and i was like okay period i'm over it i took a test guess who's still here she really pulled an a from pretty little liars and said i'm still here bitches a i'm still here bitches coronavirus if you guys hate my voice that's too bad everybody i hope you guys had a great holiday i did uh, my holiday was lit new year's lit fun great so the first book that i read eileen by otessa moshvig hey girl um i this is about eileen who is a 24 year old and she works at a prison and her mother passed away and her father is a p Oh, S, hello, on the list of characters that I would like to fight if I ever see them. One day, this lady named Rebecca comes in to the prison and, like, works there or whatever. And then Eileen's like, hey, Miss Girl. And so then they, like, become friends. And the book is extremely weird. It takes place in a span of, like, a week. Uh, <laughs> I read this for the Women's Wrong Support Group, my book club. If you want to join, it's on Fable. It's for free. And we support women's rights and women's wrongs there. So I'm not sure why you haven't joined, love. I regret to inform you guys that I rated this book five stars. Um, why? Okay, so I have this theory that can be backed up and i don't want to say this theory but if you guys want to know what the theory is you can ask me and i'll tell you but i don't want to say it in the video just in case you know i have this theory that i was hooked on and that there was like evidence behind and i was like i see no other option other than this theory and it made the book so much better for me so next i immediately read death in her hands by otessa moshvig um hmm. so this book is about the main woman Ves vespa i think her name is she is old and she has a dog her and her dog are walking through the forest or whatever and she finds a note that says here lies i forget her name like magdalena or something here lies magdalena uh i didn't kill her but something something whatever you know a note basically saying like here's the dead body i didn't kill her okay period however there's not there's nothing there except for the note and like did something happen was there even a note to begin with because she didn't pick it up so we don't really know so we just go go through the story and vespa's mind and her she's kind of like setting up the scene of what happened the whole time and it's just basically a character study to vespa's character and she's like a old lady who spirals a lot so if you don't like to be in someone who's spiraling's head and making up hypothetical situations you will not definitely not like this book so like i would say skip it um me personally i thought it was okay the theory that i have for this one it was just like okay like it didn't make it better or worse or anything it was just like okay and like the whole time i was just like okay you know i just thought that this book was okay <laughs> i don't think that i really have anything else to say other than slay that was a medium amount of slayage. I rate that 3.5 stars. The next book I read was the Britney Spears memoir. I don't really rate memoirs a lot of the time. Only sometimes. It was very interesting to see the insight behind the shaving of the head situation. The her growing up and being a pop star and society expectations on women. And just like everything like that that was interesting to read about. Okay. So... I don't really have many thoughts on it except for dang that's rough and dang that's sad and like 
I wish that she was treated differently by society because society freaking sucks. But I'm really happy that her fans were there for her and the Free Britney movement actually helped her because she mentioned that actually helped her and actually did something for her. So that was heartwarming to read about that part. After that, I read the Paris Hilton memoir, The Businesswoman First, period. So like, she talks about how she created this image and character of herself which I have a lot of respect for the alter ego and how she like literally admits it and is like this is what I did like this is what makes me the most money but the when she talked about the camp that she was in that was really heartbreaking and sad and like the amount of times that she tried to get away and then she got caught and like that was just so sad and terrible to read about but you know I'm glad that i read it it was interesting it was interesting insight to uh hear about her character you know for some reason i enjoy reading celebrity memoirs i don't know maybe because i am celebrity i read bunny by queen mother herself mona wad period slay i freaking love this book i listened to the audiobook so i didn't read this copy um the audiobook is good i don't know what people are talking about saying that the audiobook is not good whatever i do prefer the physical read of this however because the way that mona awad writes she writes words with that double meaning and then there's some sentences that could be dialogue in the audio that are not dialogue because they don't have quotation marks they're like italicized or whatever and so it's just interesting to visualize that when you're reading it yeah this was my second read the first time i read it was in march of 2022 i buddy read this with michaela from michaela reads shout out best if you're not subscribed to michaela i'm not literally not sure what you do when period we both love this book so it's a great time um my thoughts on this was i picked up so much animal uh, visuals and symbolism and just like different animal things that i didn't really pick up the first time that i can remember and just like some other stuff that i picked up i don't remember exactly or i would tell you but it's good and like if you if and if you don't like this book that is okay i'm not mad at you okay a lot of people think that I would be mad at them for not liking Bunny, but I'm not. I'm literally not. Listen to me right now. I'm not mad at you. If you don't like Bunny, that is okay because Bunny is not for everyone. It's weird. It doesn't make much sense. That's okay. If you don't like Oswald, that's a different story. I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Red, black sheep. I annotated this for um, Bestie Boo Hannah. Shout out, Bestie. Black sheep is a boot what the heck is her, is her name also vespa what was her name vesper vesper okay so vesper um left her cult she left her cult about like what five years ago and she moved to a different town and okay so period she's living her life she's unhappy you know whatever um find happiness in yourself queen don't rely on other people then she gets an invitation from her cousin and best friend um that's saying oh come to rosalie and i don't remember that man's name probably brody let's say that come to rosemary and brody's wedding you are invited blah 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 blah, blah. Right, so she's like wtf where are they getting married and she's all like mad about that and maybe i should do silent reviews <laughs> And so she pissed me off because she was just so jealous of, like, everything. Like, girl, like, STFU, you're the one who moved away. And that's your best friend. Like, why are you, why, like I said in my roast, why are you jealous of your best friend? You do not need to be that as toxic. I unfortunately made this book very low. Next. Uh, next, 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 next. I read a graphic novel called Unfamiliar. Uh, it's a second one in the unfamiliar series and this is just a cute witchy story not many thoughts on that that it was cute i rated it four stars it wasn't as good as the first one but that's really okay and i dnf two books um one okay i'll just explain so the first book that i dnf'd 
was because my loan expired <laughs> um, our hideous progenies I got about to the 30 40 percent way through and then the library was like um excuse me ma'am your loan is due today it will expire at 10 p.m. and I was like okay there's no way that I'm about to rush through this book when I'm already working on other things <laughs> like I'm not about to do that um will I go back to it maybe I don't know I'm not opposed a lot of people are saying that it's good so and then the next one that I kind of dnf'd in december was la Plona by otessa mosh Fag. queen i need to have a singular discussion with you because what was that um why are you putting fruit in places that doesn't make sense to me um yeah no i soft dnf that because i'm trying to finish it in january because i need to know what happens because that all of this stuff that is happening in this book cannot just be happening it like there has to be a reason for it and like i need vengeance i need hell to break loose i need stuff to go down so i'm like i'm gonna finish it because like i need to know i need to know so <laughs> thank you for watching my december wrap up make sure you subscribe to my channel so i can become a full-time content creator okay you think i'm joking thank you so much for watching make sure you go ahead and like that video make sure you subscribe please 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 let me know if you guys have read any of these books and any of your thoughts on them i am open to spoilers of rabbana i'm open to that <laughs> you can go ahead and leave the leave the bunny emoji because i reread bunny <laughs> and i hope you guys have a super fantastic magical lovely amazing evening and even dare i say new year i hope that 2024 gives you everything that you ever wanted in life and even more even things that you didn't know that you wanted and i'm not just talking material i'm talking fulfilling life things i hope that 2024 gives you and i hope that you subscribe to this channel i'm gone i'm gone goodbye guys i'll see you next time thanks for watching